Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Steve from Rockstar Eater. And in today's episode, I'm gonna be discussing something that I really am passionate about because I'm a very big sushi fan. I'm gonna be talking about the 10 best sushi restaurants in Los Angeles. Maybe some of you guys don't know that Los Angeles is quite possibly the greatest place in the world to eat sushi outside of Japan. You know, some people have even told me that they came to Los Angeles from Japan and they even like the sushi here better than in Japan itself. Well, I don't really know about that, but I can say that Los Angeles indeed has some really awesome sushi. And in the last 10 years, there have been restaurants opening up just left and right that serves world-class sushi really at its best. Now, whether you are from Los Angeles or you're traveling to Los Angeles, uh, maybe you want to eat sushi in the city, but you don't exactly know where to go to. That's why I'm going to help you out in this video. I could have easily included 20 on this list because there's just so many great sushi restaurants in this city, but I decided to narrow it down to 10 so that if you try any of these 10, you will be in very good hands. So let's not waste any more time and let's go ahead and get started with number 10. Nozawa Bar. This restaurant is owned by the famous sushi chef Nozawa, who's most known for his sugarfish sushi restaurants. However, this isn't a sugarfish restaurant, but a standalone high end sushi bar operated by his good friend Mr. Fujita. It's a little bar hidden in a back room behind a sugarfish restaurant in Beverly Hills. Its 20 course omakase meal is very similar to the tradition established by Nozawa himself, and it is indeed to die for. $175 $75 a person is a bit steep, but you'll get some of the best traditional sushi around. So don't miss this place if you are in the area of Beverly Hills. Number nine, Mori Sushi. This is a traditional sushi restaurant in the Sawtelle neighborhood, known for its consistency in taste over the years, carrying some of the best Edo style sushi in the town. It is melt in your mouth nigiri sushi at a reasonable price and ends with a nice bowl of green tea ice cream made from scratch. As with many omakase restaurants, your sushi here is served one piece at a time so that you can savor each bite that comes from the best selections of the day. Number eight, Sushi Zo. Another one of the most acclaimed sushi restaurants to have come around in the last decade, which now has two locations in Los Angeles. It is Edo style minimalist sushi at its very best. Again, fresh, melt in your mouth sushi with its body temperature rice, which makes the sushi just so divine when it goes into your mouth. Yes, it's expensive. It's about $200 a person, but you get what you pay for, quality. Number seven, Shin Sushi. This is one of the greatest new sushi restaurants in the San Fernando Valley in the city of Encino. Shin Sushi is really what traditional, elegant, and upscale sushi is all about. You almost feel like you're transported to an upscale sushi restaurant in Tokyo or any parts of Japan for that matter. Again, it's a minimalist, artistic, and simply tasty sushi at a reasonable omakase price. This restaurant is somewhere you need to absolutely go if you are on Ventura Boulevard near the Encino area and want fabulous, fabulous sushi. Number six, Shunji. Another one of the many sushi restaurants in Sawtell that is top notch. It's traditional sushi, and if you get omakase, you will get some of the artsiest presentations of food, very similar to the kaiseki style of Japanese cuisine. Its seasonal menu is not to be missed, along with its warm hospitality, and of course, its great food. Another pretty expensive restaurant, but then again, the food simply delivers. Number five, Sushi Ginza Onodera. There's a reason why this restaurant has two Michelin stars. It's a magical sushi experience like no other. Upscale, clean, and traditional environment with fish that is imported from the famous Toyosu fish market in Japan. They even import their rice from Japan, soaked in this red vinegar to give the sushi a very signature taste. It's artsy, Edo style sushi at its very best. I guess you can tell with this description, you might want to save up your money if you want to eat here. Number four, Gozmart. 
This is one of the most interesting sushi restaurants you can find anywhere. It's a hole in the wall restaurant in a pretty quiet neighborhood in Woodland Hills. From the outside, you would never guess that it's a sushi restaurant. Even from the inside, by looking at the shabby appearance, which looks more like a mom and pop grocery store, it doesn't really look like it would serve any impressive food. But this place has some of the most mind blowing sushi in all Los Angeles. Like Ginza Onodera, Ghost Mart gets their fish from the Tokyo market every day. And everything here is outstanding. And the gold flakes that they put on their fish, especially their Toro, is something that you need to see to believe. Give this place a shot if you are in Woodland Hills. Number three, Sushi Iki. Might possibly be the greatest sushi restaurant in the San Fernando Valley and on Ventura Boulevard. This restaurant is known for its extravagant menu, where depending on how much you're willing to spend, you'll eat like a king here. Generous cuts of fish melt in your mouth, and they even serve this awesome $800 king crab by Chef Eddie, who is also a pretty awesome chef. It's just a fun place to be overall, and it's the new rave of the town. Number two, Q Sushi. Possibly the greatest sushi restaurant in downtown Los Angeles. This modern and minimalistic sushi restaurant serves some of the highest quality Edo style fish from a sushi chef who has a reputation in Tokyo's Roppongi district before coming to LA to open Q Sushi. It's 22 courses for $200, but it's pure sushi at its finest in the urban city of Los Angeles. And did we mention that Elijah Wood came here on a BuzzFeed episode? And finally, number one, Urasawa. This is the grand darling of all sushi restaurants that's not only the best in Beverly Hills, but possibly all of Los Angeles. This is probably the closest you'll ever get to the taste and the experience that you found in Jiro Dreams of Sushi documentary. It's a Michelin star restaurant with fish imported from Toyosu Fish Market in Tokyo. The fish is traditional, Edo style, and simply mind-blowing, with an amazing kaiseki-like course dinner which includes their Kobe beef sashimi, foie gras sashimi, and some delectable black sesame ice cream. I would say that this is the best meal I've ever had in Los Angeles. Well, there you have it with 10 of the best sushi restaurants in Los Angeles. Now keep in mind once again that there are many great sushi restaurants in the city, but if you go to these 10 specifically, then I guarantee you, you will leave this place happy. Even if you have to shell out quite a bit of money in order to eat here. It's all about the quality, and if you come here, you will get the quality. Well, I hope that helps you with finding some of the best sushi restaurants to find in the great city of Los Angeles. If you've enjoyed this video or found it to be helpful, then please do give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any suggestions, possibly to share any other great sushi restaurants in Los Angeles so all of us can learn about it. And also, please do consider subscribing to Rockstar Eater. If you found this episode to be helpful and amazing, then you'll get a lot more of these episodes on a weekly basis. So don't miss out on that. Subscribe to Rockstar Eater by clicking on the link below on the right hand side, as well as hitting the notification bell so that you can get these alerts when these new episodes come out on a weekly basis. Once again, my name is Steve coming to you from Rockstar Eater and I will see you next time.